Well, good afternoon. It is still hazy out there for some of us on this Friday. We've got some areas still dealing with a little fog, but there's also that smoky haze I mentioned earlier in the show, and you can see that haze a little bit better in this view down at the Dakota Magic Casino in the South Dakota and North Dakota border area, and that haze has been affecting some spots. You might even notice a little bit of a uh, smoky smell in the air, too, and that's uh, wildfire smoke that's still drifting in from British Columbia, though the season is winding down. There's also been some smoke in the Pacific Northwest as well. Uh, so still dealing with that, but uh, it is improving here. Northern Valley, you see some areas where visibility is being reported at 10 miles. That's exactly what we want to see. But in the Southern Valley, still a little bit lower here. Wapaton, one of those places on the lower end at two and a half miles. So we're watching out for that, but that shouldn't be much of a problem uh, heading into the nighttime hours and afternoon today once that clears out. Looking at wind, that is five to 15 miles per hour in some spots. It's picked up in Grand Forks, a steady speed of 20. And that northerly breeze or northwesterly breeze in Bedette gusting to 24. So just a little more wind here heading into uh, this afternoon. Temperatures are cool in the north. We're still below freezing. Some upper 20s to some low 30s in most of those areas. Southern Valley, we're working at climbing above freezing right now. We're at 33 in Fargo. It's 39 in Sisseton right now. And we're watching a few clouds drift through. Keep in mind on our visible satellite picture here uh, that where we have the static areas of white where we're not seeing movement, that's the snowpack still holding in places in the Northern Valley. And then where you see some of these areas of white drifting southward, dropping south, uh, that's where we have a few clouds making their way through. There are places with some sunshine out there too. So it uh, depends on where you are. Just another one of those days of variable cloudiness and sun. Now by the afternoon, temperatures reach maybe some low 30s up north and then some upper 30s in the south with that wind continuing uh, out of that northerly direction. So heading into your Friday night should be pretty quiet. We may see more fog develop into the later evening and night time hours. This is 11 o'clock uh, tonight. Temperatures dropping back below freezing. It's going to be a little chillier tonight than it was last night with some teens and some 20s to kick off your Saturday morning coming up for the start of the uh, deer season, the firearm season in Minnesota. So let's talk about our, our snow rain mixed chances here. Saturday's the day where it won't be as likely that we'll see precipitation, but the possibility is still there. This is 7 a.m. Saturday. You see some areas where we've got blue and indicating a little snow up along the border area to even some pink on the map, which would mean either a light mix or maybe even some freezing drizzle with those temperatures I just showed you in the teens and 20s. Uh, it would be in the freezing range. And so this continues to roll eastward through the morning. We might have a brief little shot of snow in northwest Minnesota and along the international border. You can see by nine o'clock Saturday night. This is over by the Duluth area moving eastward. We get into a little bit of a break here Saturday night, but then Sunday will be the more impactful day. We'll see warmer air moving in and so our phase of precipitation will be more in the form of rain, a uh, liquid precipitation Saturday Sunday morning. Rather, uh, you can see that rain moving through. This could be the first round and then perhaps a second one making its way through a Sunday afternoon and evening and overnight and into Monday. So a uh, lot more active day coming up for Sunday and uh, we could add up a little bit of moisture here. We're talking about liquid potential. This would include rain and maybe a little bit of snow or mix melted down and you can see that we've got just about everywhere with the possibility for some rain. Most of us less than a half inch, uh, but up along the border area could be a little bit more than that with this event. Your planner, your extended planner, warmer this weekend into the 40s. Remember, your nights are going to be cold too, so if you're going to be out hunting, you're going to want to bundle up and uh, make sure you've got that waterproof layer as well. Daylight saving time ends this weekend, so turn those clocks back. And then next week, a little more active to start the week. We'll be kind of cooling down a bit, but eventually we get back up into those upper 40s by the end of your 11 day planner. Yeah, hopefully I saw a 46, kind of 47, 48. Yeah. Hopefully maybe we can get up to a 50 or so. Well, it'd be good to we'll get see. close at least. Exactly, it will. Lisa, thank you so much. Well, daylight saving time means a less sunlight straight ahead at noon. What this means for your mental health.